All right, so I'm redoing a video I did uh, because I like to have, I think it's kind of cool to have as the background, the box. And what I discovered was the camera wanted to focus on the box art and not on the figure. So that became really annoying. So I'm redoing this. Um, Mezco has released their fourth G.I. Joe figure, which is Storm Shadow. And so I have him next to Snake Eyes for obvious reasons. Uh, Snake Eyes came with a ton of extras and I don't have any of them on him because uh, for a variety of reasons. Um, the gun really wasn't fitting in the holster. I didn't like the way the sword was held on the back. So he's just kind of without anything, although he still looks kind of loaded up. Um, uh, Storm Shadow, by contrast, it worked out very well. Um, he's got tons of stuff on him and, and it all uh, looks quite nice. Um, He's got, uh, we'll I'll start off with removable nunchucks. And I think that, I think this is a metal, ah, chain. Okay. Um, he's got two swords with scabbards and the, and a quiver with, uh, arrows in it. Um, I thought the arrows were removable because this pamphlet comes with it and it shows, let me move him a little bit, it shows three arrows outside of the quiver, but I could not get them out. And this, this little pamphlet shows all sorts of things going on uh, that I will show, including the nunchuck holster. Um, so the uh, scabbard, the two scabbards are attached together and they peg in to his, his kind of, uh, what is it, this, uh, this thing that slings across his shoulder, and uh, it does quite, quite easily, and then the, the quiver will then peg into the scabbards, and uh, it, it works really nice, and so the sword, the swords were, are removable, everything is plastic, of course, except possibly this chain, um, and then he's got uh, some throwing stars here that I attached and some throwing knives. So I slid those in and stuck those on there. So um, this one worked out, I think, better than better than uh, Snake Eyes. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to actually pose him with all this stuff. And he's one of the rare Mezco figures where you see the joints. And so I guess if you're curious as to how they're engineering this, you can take a look and see really nice figure um i think on here on the camera the whites look very white but in reality they could be whiter <laughs> um it's almost a little bit of gray in there and i don't love it but i think the overall look is see this can go up i think it's really spectacular in fact um i kind of uh, call Hot Toys soft statues, which I, I kind of mean it in an insulting way, uh, given their horrific um, articulation. But the articulation is, is fine in this. But I would almost call these also soft statues because they are so detailed and so, so gorgeous. Um, but in this case, I mean it as a compliment, not as an insult. Uh, we've got some hand scythes. We've got some effects, some throwing effects. Uh, the pamphlet will show, you know, his hand there throwing uh, smoke bombs and shurikens, and I guess he can be deflecting off his sword. Uh, the bow, it shows that it's collapsible. I will have to take their word for it because I couldn't get it to work. Um, I feel like I'm going to snap it if I apply more pressure. The bow will, it is springy, um, but I think that one's going to get packed away. Uh, we've got all sorts of throwing stars, throwing knives, some more shurikens, so lots of stuff. And then we have the effects, so you could use this with one of the hands with the throwing stars going out, if that's what you want to do. Um, and of course we have all sorts of hands, all sorts of hands throwing stuff and I guess chopping hands and all sorts of different things.
Then we have a pair of size. I'll show one that he could hold. We have an alternate head without the mask on. He does kind of look like the movie character in the, uh, the live action movies. Looks like the actor. And then we have, I didn't open this, but we have, I think, a, a meaner looking face. So these will all get boxed away. And then uh, box here, box art. Um, very, let's see here. Very evocative of the 1980s artwork. So I really like that. I, I, I don't know, I, this might be taken from from the 1980s, from the, the original box art. But I love the fact that Mezco is going now with uh, really the minimum size for a box. So I appreciate that greatly. So I give this one high marks. This this is going to be up there. This may be... I, I really did like uh, Snake Eyes, but I, I like the usage of the gimmicks better with uh, Storm Shadow and how they all attach to his body. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to pose him with all of that stuff. Um, so th the one thing I'm a little bit concerned about was that Mezco announced over the course of a, a few years, um, six different figures. And if memory serves me correctly, they only started, they only started producing after they had announced all six. And so far they've released four, but as of, as as of yet, they have not announced any more. So I'm hoping they are not done with this line, because there's still a lot of different characters that they could be, and particularly Cobra Commander, but also characters like Zartan. Um, we have Baroness. We have Lady J, Scarlet. Tons and tons and tons. I mean, there is just a dozens and dozens and dozens of G.I. Joe characters that could be done. So hopefully they're not done. Uh, they have released thus far um, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, but also Roadblock and uh, Destro. And the next figure should be very soon. It actually was scheduled for like two months ago, which is Firefly. And uh, then I, I believe in June it's supposed to be Duke. And uh, so hopefully we're not done yet, because this is my favorite line right now with Mezco, the G.I. Joe figures. So I'm really thrilled with this character. I am I have almost nothing. I, I do wish the whites were a little more white. But other than that, I'm not sure I have a complaint regarding this, this character, this figure. Really, really lovely, and I, I highly recommend it. So that's... Uh, Storm Shadow from Mezco and G.I. Joe.